Let's read Mabel by Lori Nichols. Nancy Paulson Books, an imprint of Penguin Group. Mabel loved her name. When she was still a whisper, her parents planted a tiny tree in her honor. And even though Flava, Millie Jean, Lena, Lily, and Constance were all good names, Mabel was a perfect fit. And as Aunt Mabel grew, so did her tree. Sometimes when Mabel was noisy, which was a lot, her parents sent her to outside to play and her tree didn't mind if she was loud. Mabel would sing to her tree and sway for her tree and sometimes even pretend to be a tree. Some days when the wind was just right, Mabel would simply lie under her tree and its leaves would dance just for her. Then on one day, Mabel noticed her tree was bare. And Mabel was worried that her tree might get cold. So Mabel took off her jacket and gave it to the tree to stay warm. Sometimes, Mabel wished that she had someone else to play with. The tree wasn't very good at throwing snowballs. And she wondered if the tree felt the same way. So Mabel introduced her tree to a friend. A friend didn't last. But Maple and her tree still had each other. Through winter and spring. And then one day, something surprising happened. Then something really surprising happened. Maple became a big sister, and Maple tried to be a good big sister. If the baby was cold, Maple gave the baby her hat and gloves, and if the baby was lonely, Maple would share her special friends. But Maple couldn't always make the baby happy. And when the baby was noisy, which was a lot, Maple would take her outside to play. Something magical happened. Look. Maple's tree danced for both of them. And there was just enough room under the tree for Maple and her little sister, Willow. We've just read Maple by Lori Nichols.